day is when you see a positive future, what, what do you think is the way out? of this uh, chaos of 2020, like if you visualize a 2025, that's a better world than today. What is that? How do we get there? What does that look like? It's a good question. I, do, I, I can honestly say I don't know. And uh, I wouldn't have said I don't know a year ago. A year ago, I would have said we're going to be okay. As much as people hate Trump, the economy is doing great. I think we're going to be fine. That's not how I feel today. Today, uh, I don't think there's a, a clear solution politically, because I think if Trump wins, people are going to be furious, and I think if Biden wins, people are going to be furious. Um, particularly, like, if things get more woke, you know, if people uh, continue to enforce this, uh, force compliance and, and make people behave a certain way and act a certain way, which seems to be a part of what this whole woke thing is. That, is the most disturbing for me is that I, I see what's going on. I see there's a lot of losers that have hopped on this and they, they shove it in people's faces and it doesn't have to make sense. Like there was a Black Lives Matter protest that stopped this woman at a restaurant. Uh, they were surrounding her outside a restaurant. They were forcing her to raise her fist in compliance. This is a woman who's marched for Black Lives multiple times, Black Lives Matter multiple times. And the people all around her doing this were all white. It's all, it's all weird. My friend Coach T, he's a, a wrestling coach, is also uh, on a podcast. My friend Brian Moses, his take on it is that black, and he's a black guy, he says, black lives matter is a white cult. <laughs> and I'm like, when you see that picture, it's hard to argue that he's got a point. It's clearly not all about that, but there's a lot of people that have jumped on board that are very much like cult members. Because the thing about Black Lives Matter or any movement is you can't control who joins. There's no entrance uh, examination. So you don't go, okay, how do you feel about this? What's your perceptions on that? Like, what do you, how, you're like the, the man who shot the Trump supporter in Portland, you know, that guy who uh, murdered the Trump supporter and the cop shot him? That guy was walking around with his hand on his gun looking for Trump supporters. Yeah. Just want, I mean, he's a known violent guy who was walking around looking for Trump supporters, found one and shot one. That has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. He's a white guy, he shot another white guy. It's just, it's just madness, you know? And that, that kind of madness is, uh, it's disturbing to see it ramp up so quickly. I mean, there's been, there's been riots in Portland every night, oh, excuse me, demonstrations, for 101 days now. 101 days in a row of them lighting things on fire, breaking into federal buildings. It's like, like who ever saw that coming? Nobody saw that coming. So, I don't know what the solution is, and I don't know what it looks like in five years. So 2025, to answer your question, like it could be anything. I mean, we, we could be looking at Mad Max. We could be looking at the, the apocalypse. We could, we could also be looking at an invasion from another country. We could be looking at a war, like a real hot 